Hello, everybody. Hi, this is Ryan Charnock with uh, CDH for another Five Minute Friday. So today I'm going to be starting kicking off a series on governance of Microsoft Teams. Okay. So um, every now and then I go to clients' sites and I get um, I come as a guest. Okay. And recently I was just at a client site and they said, Hey, um, we want you to wear this name badge. Okay, and put this around your neck because we have security guards here that might tackle you, and they are former uh, Army Rangers. I was like, oh, I, I, best, I better keep this thing on, right? And this is a good example of that guests usually have some kind of protocols or rules around them about what we want them to do or not to do, right? So I'm going to walk through this, a very simple demonstration of what some of the features you guys can set up and enabling, how do you just enable guest access within your Office 365 tenant? And then how do you now um, kind of now begin to control some of those things? So here it is, here's kind of the mechanics of how it works, all right? The first thing you have to do is you have to enable guest access within your Office 365 tenant. Then you're able to control it at a level for SharePoint and OneDrive and then also control that for, for teams. So the example I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk through, hey, how do we enable this for the Office 365 tenant? And then how do we then secondly enable this for SharePoint and OneDrive? So let's get to the demo. So here I go. I have not that screen, this screen. Here we go. This is a OneDrive. This is just a demo OneDrive here. And right now I have, let's go look at our setup. Okay, so I am in the admin center. So this is the root of the admin center. So I can go up to the little gear here and you go to admin. And this is how you get to this particular area. So then if I go over to settings. And I am going to go to security and privacy. That, that makes sense, right? And then there's a very simple sharing option here. It says, yeah, do you want to allow users external users don't have access. So this is that high the top little bubble it says, hey, yes or no for my entire tenant. Okay, so great. So I noticed this is turned on. And if I go over to OneDrive and I select a document, you have this lovely little feature here called share. Okay, you select, then you go to share. And if I click on share, it's gonna allow me to say, hey, only people in this Contoso domain with our existing access. And notice the anyone, this would be the guest is disabled. And that's because the sharing hasn't been configured for the OneDrive and SharePoint area. So let's go see if we can turn that on and actually share this out. So I'm going to go back to the admin center and I'm going to change from security and privacy. I'm going to go up to services and admins. So if I go up to services and admin, this is going to give me a bunch of the services that are within Office 365. And one of the items we're looking in here is the sites. Sites. And so right here it says external sharing, okay? And notice it groups together SharePoint Online and OneDrive. Those two things kind of come together. So I'm gonna flip this to yes, okay? To now allow that to happen within this specification, okay? So let's go with, and then if we wanna go a little bit further, there is an area where I can then administrate with some settings, what, how does the, what's the actual protocol? Do they keep the name tag on the whole time? Is it a badge here? Are they allowed to use the drinking fountain? What, well, how do we want to treat the guests that are in there? So if we go to the, sir, go to the admin centers, I'll find an area here for SharePoint. And this is where it lists out the different SharePoint site collections and all the different components that, this is the central administration of SharePoint online. And one of them is I can go to sharing, and here's where we can discover, okay, allow anonymous access, links expire after, you notice that might have been, that was the default setting for the whole tenant, but let's change that. Let's change this to seven, okay? What that means is if I give somebody a link, okay, it's gonna like mission impossible message, it'll self-destruct in seven days. So let's scroll down, let's click okay. We've now set this all up and we're gonna go back to OneDrive. Let's try to share that document and let's see what kind of experience we get now. Okay, so I'm gonna flip back over to OneDrive. Let's refresh the page. Don't want to run into any kind of issues there. Let's give it a select. Let's go up to share. And we should see some different options. Oh, yeah, look at that. So now, not only do I have just people within my domain, now I have a new option for anyone. And oh, look this. It says by default a week from today. And if I try to get it longer, it says no, the expiration date is. If you can't see that, that is just phenomenal. 
Oh, I missed it. I closed it on accident. There we go. It's the seven day specification. That is way awesome. So the whole idea behind this guy, let's go back to a little more, apply that. And this is where I can put in a external address. Give him a little message. Hi, please review the following doc. And then this is gonna get sent externally to a Gmail account that doesn't necessarily have access to it. Way cool. So what we're looking at here for today for the five minute Friday is that you guys have the ability at a tenant level to control whether sharing is on or off. And then once you enable it for at this level, then you have the ability to then actually get in and, whoop, that's not what I want, have the ability to then control how, what's the behavior within this area of, op, of your Office 365, of SharePoint and OneDrive. And notice those two things are kind of coupled together and Teams will do another Five Minute Friday on to check out those groups. So with that folks, thanks a lot for joining today. And if you came from the webinar last week, great to see you again also, all right? Thanks a lot, we'll talk to you later, bye-bye.